Hey guys, um, today we're going to go over how to put a base map onto your chip DCU using a Motes Burn 2 and Chrome as your tuning platform. Uh, what you're going to need to accomplish, this is just to accomplish putting the base map onto your chip. Uh, you're going to need to have the Chrome software downloaded. You can get that at Tune with Chrome. Uh, just Google Tune with Chrome and their website will pop up. You're also going to need a chip burner. The one I happen to have is the Motes Burn 2. Third thing you're going to need is a chipped ECU. This is a P28. I chipped myself. I actually uh, have footage and I'm going to show exactly how to chip the ECU so you can tune with it. I'm just fixing it because the audio got messed up. so. Once I get the audio fixed, I'll have that footage uploaded on how to chip the ECU yourself. But for today, I'm going to show you guys how to put the base map on here so you can at least get your project car started. And, uh, yeah, get it running. So, on the inside of here, you can see we have our chip. Uh, this is what we're going to be burning our tune onto. So for right now, we're just going to go ahead and leave that in there. And then we're going to go ahead and connect our burn to onto our computer. Pretty simple process. Just go ahead and connect your USB cable. Once you manage to uh, get your chip burner plugged in, what you're going to want to do, go up here to File, Settings, General, and then you're going to click on Real Time Programming right here. Let's go ahead and get this a little closer so I can show you what I'm talking about. You're going to want to click on Real Time Programming right here, and then make sure on, under Hardware Type, since we're using a burn tube, we're going to uh, select most devices and then we want to go ahead and go over here to detect connection successfully connected to device so that uh, shows us that we can we have a good connection and we can burn a chip off of here so now that we've made sure the chip burner is connected we're going to want to start with a base map um, in general what you want to do is you come up here to this corner, select this little tab right here, open existing ROM, come over here, and then you have a selection. If you have like a viewer license, you can use the Chrome Gold Base, but if not, if you're using just the free version, we have a selection between P28, P30, P30EG, and a P72. Um, usually, it, uh, a lot of single cam, if you're building a single cam, you can start with a P28 base map, um, which it works just fine. But for some reason or the other, the P30 has the most features you can add to it. So I'm going to show you how you can take the maps from one table and put them into the P30 so you can use all the features of Chrome. That'll kind of help you out. So let's say we've got a P28, we're trying, to, we're trying to run a D16Z6 but we want to add some extra features to it so we're going to open up this map and then we've got all our tables uh, right here is our low cam ignition table and then we can switch over right next to it is our high cam ignition table and then low cam fuel table right here high cam fuel table um, but so We'll just say we're using a stock Z6 and we just want to add some extra features like launch control and uh, full throttle shift and some other stuff like that. So we're going to see go up here to file. Click on that and then you can go down to export tables. 
then we can let's see here. Stock C6. Click save. And then we're gonna come back up here. Open up a P30 ROM. Open that up. And if you look at all these numbers on this low cam fuel map, let's just look let's just focus right here on this last number, 572. So that's the uh, P16 fuel map. What we're gonna do at that point with this uh, to get the Z6 uh, tables on here, we click we go to file click import tables after we do that we got our stock z6 what we saved them to and then there we go we've imported our files now that last number is 585 so uh, hopefully you can see the difference there make sure everything so again we just go up to file up here Import tables, stock Z6, open, and then your tables are imported here. Now that's, you can run a stock Z6 off this. Now, uh, here's where we have our benefit to this. We go over to plugins, enhancements, and then we have add extra features. That'll come in just a second. But one thing I do want to say is you want to come up here to remove checksum routine. Basically, your ECU routinely goes through itself and adds up everything and makes sure everything's in line. And if not, it can go into a limp mode. So, and you don't want that to happen. So we're gonna remove checksum routine. Click OK. Now we can come over to options. These uh, are not quite set up properly for a Z6. Uh, the P28 ECU, if that is what you're using, and if you are using a Z6, does not have a knock sensor, so we disable the knock sensor. But we're going to enable our uh, atmospheric pressure sensor injector test circuit, and so, uh, so on. We can adjust our VTEC level. Right down here, VTEC engagement, you know, adjust that accordingly to probably the stock Z6 level, which is going to be uh, 4800 but again this is just all for example just to show you how to adjust these things and put your maps onto a P30 ROM and here's where the real advantage of this comes in is you go up to your plugins enhancements add extra features click next twice and then now if you look down here we've got launch control full throttle shift shift light and a boost cut um, all can be adjusted to your liking so set these however you want to set these and uh, kind of go from there uh, if you don't want full throttle shift you know just kind of set your limit above what like your rev limiter is and all that and uh, you know your shift light above obviously if you don't want your shift light just set that higher than what your rev limiter is uh, so after you kind of get everything here in place, just kind of go back. You, what you would want to do is you want to probably save that file. And then since you're connected to your chip, I'll show you how to burn that in just a second. But I'm actually, I have a base map file that I do need to put on my chip uh, for the particular motor. So I'm going to go ahead and open that file. Um, and we're going to burn that onto the chip really quick. Got that. So uh, now that I have the base map loaded that I want, everything set up the way I want it uh, for the particular motor I have, uh, we start using our mode burn device. And what we're going to want to do here, using this device, is after we remove our chip from our ECU. is on these chips there's a little notch on the 
front of the chip, you're going to want to set that towards the handle. So you lift up your handle here to open up the slots and you align this last pin with the bottom pin on the chip burner. And slide that in. Close the handle. Alright, so once we get our chip in there, we're going to come up here. We're going to go ahead and select burn. Connecting, writing data to ROM, verifying data from device, and ROM data successfully written. Alright, so at this point we have successfully put our base map onto our motor. We went through our, all our extra features, have our parameters where we want them, and everything is set up. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was kind of quick and simple. Um, at this point, all you'd have to do is take your chip out of your burner, put it back into your ECU, plug your ECU in, and make sure it works. But uh, as always, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. Please comment, like, and subscribe. It definitely helps. And again, thank you guys.